much. Uh, let's go to uh, Jason Rance right now because he's seen this up close and personal in cities like Seattle, where the effort is still going on and they're not quitting to try to defund the police department there. Uh, even the police chief is at loggerheads with the mayor, it was at loggerheads with the governor and the back and forth, but it is happening and it's playing out across the country. Um, Jason, I, I used to think when they first proposed this that it was going nowhere, but now upwards of a 50% cut in the budget that the council is spearheading, whether Seattle residents like it or not. What's going on? Yeah, and very clearly, Seattle residents don't like it. There have been three polls that have been taken within the last 10 days or so, and they all overwhelmingly say no to this 50% defund plan from the council. But as of later today, they'll be voting on a plan that will almost immediately fire, lay off 100 officers. We're talking about school resource officers, some SWAT team members, and something called the navigation team would be gone completely. The navigation team is a specialized group of law enforcement officials and social workers that go into the homeless communities to try to connect people living out on the streets with shelter. So that would be going away. And this comes a day after a rather large rally, pro-police rally yesterday outside of Seattle City Hall, where several thousand people showed up to say, stop attacking, attacking our police officers. I'm just wondering, how are Seattle residents feeling about all of this? Like they have no control or input over what this council is doing pretty cavalierly. I'm not saying good or bad, but you should really kind of bounce it off residents, right? You, you should, and they chose not to. Now, part of it is because we were in a pandemic, so people can't exactly show up to City Hall during a council meeting, which is all being done on Zoom. And so instead, what's happening is you've got council members just not responding to emails coming in, not responding to phone calls of residents complaining about the direction. Meanwhile, while we're being ignored, while the pro-police crowd is being ignored, you've got Antifa agitators and other protesters who are literally committing acts of vandalism. Just last night, they again marauded through the city of Seattle going after businesses, destroying storefronts, and they're the ones that get listened to, and they're the ones that get rewarded. Part of it maybe has to do with the fact that they're also showing up to council members' homes and the mayor's home and trying to put pressure on them in that way, which I think goes a little bit too far, especially because some of them, at least in the case of one council member, there was a threat of physical violence if they don't end up voting with them. That, that just we, we can't allow for that to happen in a civilized society. All right, um, keep updating because every time you do, Jason, it gets more surreal by, by the appearance. But it doesn't mean we love it, uh, not having you on any less. Um, thank you, uh, Jason Rance. The Jason Rance show is finger on the pulse of what's going on there and like, makes you wonder. What